Happy Flex Friday. I am Trainer Mike and I'm here today to take you through a live workout. Now, this is from a body fit program and today's workout requires just a kettlebell. So very, very fun stuff. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell at home, that's okay. You guys can follow along with maybe a gallon of milk, a jug of water, um, a dumbbell. If you have some dumbbells at home, there's a lot of different things that you can use to accomplish this workout. But if you have a kettlebell, grab that kettlebell and let's get some work done. Kettlebells are very versatile. There's a lot that you can do using just kettlebells. So I appreciate you guys being here, checking out this workout. I know a lot of people are still training at home. Um, some people have had the opportunity to get back to the gym, but a lot of people still training at home. So if you are training at home and you're looking for a great full body workout, check this one out, guys. You can follow along right now, check out the stream later, but either way, we've got a great workout in store for you today. So. Thank you guys for checking it out. I see you guys on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Great, great stuff. So we're gonna start off with a warm up because every good workout starts with a warm up. And then we're gonna get going on this full body kettlebell workout right here from home. So questions that we're already getting about what are some easy alternatives for kettlebells? Let me give you a few options, guys. Gallon of milk works, okay? Um, jug of water, gallon jug of water works. Dumbbell definitely works. Just find something that's fairly small in size that has some resistance to it, and there's a lot that you can do with that. So if you don't have a kettlebell, again, a lot of different options that you can do with just anything that you can easily hold on to and has just a little bit of resistance to it. So the key here is that we're gonna go through, do the prescribed repetitions and things, and make sure that we have this thing dialed in. And then we're gonna hit you guys with that Flex Friday Flex after this. So if you guys have questions, ask those questions again, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Thanks for checking it out, guys. So we're gonna start with a warm up. For the warm up, you just grab like a broomstick or if you have some resistance bands. I like using resistance bands for this. And this is a pass through. So we're starting off by getting our shoulders warmed up, our chest warmed up getting our lats warmed up, and we're gonna do 10 here, okay? 10 straight across, key here, keep your arms straight for these. Great exercise just to get those shoulders warmed up. If you guys are doing like a chest day, back day, shoulder day, anything like that, you should always start with this warm up. This is a very good warm up. So next we're gonna move on and we're gonna start the next part of our warm up. Now this is a super set. We're gonna do a side plank for 30 seconds and then we're gonna move into just some nice and slow push ups, help stretch the chest and shoulders out. So start off with this side plank on the ground here. So we're going elbow on the floor, one foot on top of the other for this. And we're going about 30 seconds here. Put an elbow or a hand on your hip here and we're feeling those obliques here. 30 seconds, side plank. Great static movement for you guys to get those abs, obliques fired up. Get the hips high, try not to let them sag. We wanna make sure we're working those obliques up here. And then we're moving on to push-ups. For the push-ups, we're just gonna do five push-ups here, okay? Nice and slow, really stretch the chest out as you come down into the push-up. So there you go. Again, this is part of the warm up, guys. So we're doing a little bit of oblique work here. We're doing a little bit of chest shoulder work here. And we're just trying to get these muscles fired up before we hit this kettlebell full body workout here. So now we go to the other side. We're gonna do left side. We're gonna do the obliques with the side plank. And then we are also going to do those push ups as well. So I'm gonna adjust us over here on YouTube just a little bit so you guys can see a little better what's going on here. Side plank, left side, and then we'll do the push-ups. 30 seconds here, guys. Make sure you stay tight through the obliques. And then five push-ups, nice and slow. Stretch the chest out. Now 
And we want to do two rounds of this. So now it's right back to the side plank. Get the obliques going, and then we'll do those push-ups as a superset. Static hold here. Feel those obliques. Put your hand on them. It's kind of helpful sometimes. Put your hand on them. Feel them. Make sure they're contraction, contracting. And now the push-ups. So again, it's a superset, right from one to the other. And then right onto the left side. And side planks are really good for you guys to do as a warm-up. So if you're doing anything leg day, upper body day, Side planks are a great way to get your core ready for the workout. And push-ups. Nice and slow, get it five. All right, guys, there we go. That is it for the warm-up portion of it. And then we'll get started on the workout here in just a minute. If you guys have questions, ask those questions. We'll try and answer them as they come along. So from Facebook, which supplement should I be looking to take if I want to gain mass? Um, there's a couple that I take right off the top of my head. First would be a good whey protein, okay? If you have the money, go with a whey protein isolate. If you don't, go with like a concentrate blend okay so from instagram asks when i do push-ups i get shoulder pain what should i do try bringing your elbows in okay a lot of people get shoulder pain on push-ups when they flare their elbows out try and tuck your elbows in just a little bit okay um what has been the hardest muscle group to train at home i want to know what you guys think okay but this one comes from facebook for me personally i think it's been the back okay back's been a tough muscle group to train at home uh, more specifically, the lats. From Instagram, do we need to track our heart rate during this workout? You can. I've got my Apple Watch and I'm tracking mine. If you guys want to, you can. It gives you a good indicator of how hard you're working. Um, and then we also got here from Facebook, Sergio, what are your thoughts on ZMA? ZMA is awesome, guys. If you're looking for a great supplement to help you recover at night, get a deep sleep, which is huge for recovery, I would definitely recommend doing ZMA. Okay. Here we go, so now on to the workout. Guys, we're starting with an exercise called a Z press. Now the Z press is used with a kettlebell. I've got a couple different size kettlebells here. Uh, pick a light one for this because the Z press is essentially a seated single arm shoulder press. Now as you do this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you remain upright. Ideally, you don't want any back support here, but if you need back support, nestle up against a couch or something and that will be helpful so here's how this one works guys this is brutal three reps on each side nice and slow doesn't sound like much but we're gonna do it for four minutes straight and that's what's really gonna get you here so one side to the other three reps at a time minimal rest in between we're gonna try and do this for about four minutes straight um, or until failure so if you guys are doing this at home and you're having trouble completing the three reps, drop it down to one or two as needed. All right guys, here we go. Z press. So we're going on the floor. Again, if you have a kettlebell, great. If you don't have a kettlebell, use a dumbbell, use your gallon jug of milk here, something that you can find around the house. So we're starting here, elbows straight under the hand, three. Nice and slow here. Switch sides. Okay, we want to move fairly quick, but use it as an opportunity to get a little bit of rest. Make sure the core stays tight. Put your hand on the belly. See if you gained the COVID-15. If you did, it's time to work it off. All right, guys. Here we go. Switch sides. This one starts off feeling pretty easy, but it's timed here. So the longer you go, the harder it's going to get. 
three reps at a time. And as I press up, they face behind me. And if you feel shoulder pain, this is a great way to do it. Rather than bringing your elbow out, bring your elbow in, and then as you come up, press your elbow out. If you feel shoulder pain, that might be a way to help alleviate that shoulder pain while you're pressing. Stay inside the box to start. Press up and turn away. And switch, three at a time. Keep this going for about four minutes, guys. Again, if you need to, put your back up against a couch, up against a wall. If you can, do this upright. You'll get a lot of good core work in here as well. We're working our abs just by holding ourselves up. And then when you lift the weight above your head, that increases that abdominal activity as well. Check our time here. We're a couple minutes in. So the Z press, great shoulder core exercise right here. Make sure that you guys keep that upright straight up over your head, okay? What we don't want to do is lean back and press in front of us. We want our arm to line up with our ear here for all these reps. Starting to feel it. As you fatigue, you're gonna to wanna to go faster. Fight that, okay? Fight that urge to go faster and make sure you keep it under control for every rep. We don't wanna sacrifice our form here and our tempo just because we get a little tired. One more minute. Every three reps, we're switching sides. Starts off feeling really light. Gets pretty challenging as we move on. Elbow stays under the kettlebell on the way down. Press up and turn. All right, time's about up. We're gonna do three more on each side. Then we'll take some questions. Woo! All right, guys, there it is. Four minutes of the Z press. That's working the shoulders. We're working some core, some abs there. Getting some really, really good stuff in. Get your breath a little bit. Again, it starts off feeling really light there, but as you work through those reps, it gets pretty challenging. Okay, some questions from YouTube. Any tips for better HIIT training sessions, high intensity interval training? I really like doing my HIIT training at 30 seconds on, 90 seconds off for at least six rounds, okay? So maybe it's a 30 second sprint followed by a 90 second walk, and then um, you know repeating that six times. Somebody from Instagram wants to know, could you show a quick back workout that can be done at home? I'm gonna show you one in just a second here, guys. We got back today using just a kettlebell. From YouTube, I need a shred. Can you give some advice? Eat less food, okay? That's typically the problem with people not losing body fat is they end up over consuming calories, add in some cardio to make that a little easier as well. Um, which is better for weight loss, strength or cardio? Good question. Okay, um, if you had to pick just one, I'd pick strength training, okay? Cardio just helps to add a few more extra calories on there, but your muscle is your real driver of metabolism, so do not neglect your strength training. And um, one more question before we get going here. I'm feeling really sore, should I still train? And a lot of people are, like as they get back to the gym, that soreness is really, really heavy, okay? And um, as, you're, you know, as you're doing that, you know, make sure that you ease yourself back into it, okay? From Instagram, um, why don't you prefer 
30 seconds on and off while doing HIIT training. Here's the reason why. For most people, it's gonna take them about 90 seconds for their heart rate to recover. If you guys want a true high intensity interval training, you have to let your heart rate get up and come back down. So a lot of people, if they're gonna go 30 seconds off, they're not gonna get the true dip in heart rate that they want. Now, as you get in better shape, you definitely can. Okay, here we go. We got goblet squats. This is actually my favorite type of squat right here. I really, really like the goblet squat. So we've got a couple different sizes of kettlebells here. We're gonna up the weight now for the goblet squat. We're gonna do pulse reps here. So we're gonna come down halfway up and then all the way up. And we're just gonna do five here, but again, these are, these are pretty brutal. So we're grabbing this guy. This is a 70.5 pound kettlebell. For those of you using kilograms, 32 kilogram kettlebell. Okay, a good weight for goblet squats. Let's go. Weight goes right under your chin. Pulse rep. There it is, take a little rest. Real important here to pay attention to your tempo. Do not go too fast on these or we're gonna miss the whole point of them. From YouTube, what's a good exercise to increase strength in home workouts? It's not necessarily the exercise, but the resistance, okay? There is a lot you can do with just body weight. Some of the best are gonna be push-ups. Um, if that's too easy for you, throw a backpack on, try elevating your feet. Single leg squats are also very good. Um, another one from YouTube, is there a better alternative than whey protein shake post-workout. No, I don't think there is. I think whey protein for the absorption, the bioavailability that you're gonna get from that is definitely your best bet post-workout. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna adjust YouTube, Facebook here just a little bit so you guys can see more of the exercise. Trying to rest about 45 to 60 seconds in between sets here. Here we go, legs. Slow, follow control tempo here. The goblet squat, great, great exercise. Take some questions here, guys, before we jump back into the goblet squats. Instagram, how to develop calves. A lot of people have trouble with calves. Train them a lot. They can handle a lot of volume. Three times per week is definitely what I would recommend. Hit high reps and some lower reps, but never lower than 10. <coughs> Excuse me, how do you cut after bulking? Start by eating less food, but slowly, decrease your calories and slowly increase your cardio. Um, you don't want to do it too fast or you'll sacrifice losing that harder muscle. From YouTube, what are some good carbs for post-workout? You want something that's low in fiber and pretty quick to digest, easy to digest. So stay away from like your oatmeal, your brown rice, you know, things like that, that are going to be higher in fiber and slower digesting. Choose things like rice cakes, cream of rice, fruit. Um, there's even supplement forms, maltodextrin, that can be pretty good post-workout as well. Um, let's take one more here for YouTube. Any recommendation on chest exercises? There are so many variations of a push-up, especially if you guys are still training at home. Use push-ups, okay? Single arm push-ups, double arm push-ups, feet elevated push-ups, hands elevated push-ups. A lot you can do there, okay? Woo! Back to... The goblet squat, nice and slow, five. Nice. You'll feel this in your shoulders, you'll feel it in your abs, 
and obviously your legs as well. That's the nice thing about the goblet squat is it's a full body uh, exercise. It's not just for your legs, okay? Some quick workout for exercise for maintenance from Instagram. Good question. You know, really you shouldn't change your exercise as much, whether you're looking to maintain, gain, or lose. Um, the only thing that really changes is your nutrition. So eat maintenance calories if you want to maintain on your nutrition. What's a good home shoulder workout from Instagram? Those Z presses we just did are awesome for an at-home shoulder workout. Try those. Um, when is the best time to work out, day or night? The best time to work out is when you feel the best and when you have time. There's benefits to day and night. I would say maybe slightly. I personally prefer during the day. Is exercise enough to be healthy? Okay, good question. Um, it's not enough. No, you need to follow a proper diet as well if you guys want to be truly healthy. From Instagram, okay, good way to lose stomach fat at home. Eat less food, which is hard, I know, especially if you guys are still at home, but eat less food, track your calories, download like MyFitnessPal, log your food on there, definitely very helpful. Okay guys, one more set of the goblet squats. So for our fourth set, we're not going to do pulse reps, but we're gonna double the reps. So we're gonna do 10 reps, no pulse here, just straight through reps. Let's go. <clears throat> No rest at the top, that's key. There we go guys. Gobble squats are done. There's 10 reps there, no pulse. So we did three sets where we did five pulse reps. And then on that fourth set, we actually just did 10 reps regular and I don't know which one's harder I kind of think five pulse reps are actually harder than 10 straight through reps let's get to some more questions let's look at uh, how do I stay motivated to work out you know motivation guys everybody has different things that they go through to get motivated but you really have to look at it as appreciating every bit of progress that you make and keep it in mind that if you guys slack off, you'll lose it a lot quicker than you'll gain it. Um, how long does it take to see results? If you're a beginner, you should see results every two to three weeks, visible physical results every two to three weeks. From Instagram, um, with post-workout whey, can we take supplements, like a carb supplement? Absolutely, it's great, just mix the two together and it actually masks the taste of, sometimes those carb supplements aren't that tasty. Um, YouTube, can I do this workout with dumbbells? Absolutely, yes, you can. They're, they're interchangeable for a lot of things. Um, you know, kettlebell just sits a little different, but you, same same um, principles apply here. And um, should I train my abs every day? You can if you're doing just body weight and not a lot of sets and reps. I would recommend training abs like three times a week and including a little bit of resistance with there as well. From Instagram, being 55, can you still build muscle? Yes, you can. If you're not like an advanced bodybuilder. If you're an advanced bodybuilder and you get past 50, you're gonna have a hard time building muscle. But if you're a beginner or intermediate, intermediate, absolutely. I think definitely. All right, guys. Now we're gonna do some back. So we had a lot of questions about how do we train back at home with this workout. We're gonna do what's called just a, it's a bent over row, but it's a single arm row. And we're gonna put ourselves in a lunge stance here. So we're actually gonna work some legs here with an isometric contraction, and then we're gonna pull through. Now as we're pulling through, we're gonna try and pull low to really make sure that we activate the lats as well as the mid-back. And here, we're doing three sets of 15. So we're gonna go with a little lighter kettlebell. So for you at home that wanna know how much this kettlebell is, 12 kilograms, not really heavy, but we're gonna try and focus on doing this with the right form, Nice and slow, so 15, okay? Here we go.
Couple more, here we go, 14 and 15. Good, now switch sides right away. So now we'll go to the left side, which means that that left leg goes back as we row with our left arm straight through, try and keep the back straight. set of 15 down 15 on each side no rest in between those sets and now you take a little bit of time to rest let your heart rate recover a little bit before we move on to the next set let's get some more questions here guys while I'm trying to catch my breath I will answer some questions for you guys YouTube what do aminos do and when should I take them so amino acids can help like branch chain amino acids will help to prevent muscle breakdown potentially and Essential amino acids can actually help to promote muscle protein synthesis. I recommend drinking them during workouts. So um, we got here from YouTube, any advice on picking out equipment for the home gym? What should I prioritize? If I were picking it, um, I would say number one would be, you know, some good bands, resistance bands, there's a lot you can do. Number two would be um, adjustable kettlebells. And number three would be a bench. I think you can a lot, do a lot with that. Is it wise to eat breakfast prior to working out from Instagram? Um, yeah, I would recommend it, but see how you feel, okay? Some people really do feel better fasted. If your goal is to build muscle, I would recommend eating some breakfast prior to that. Um, what's the name of that exercise? So for this one, guys, just a kettlebell row. Single arm kettlebell row. Um, YouTube, is it safe for obese people to lift weights? Yes, but consult with your physician. Make sure that you have clearance to do so, but in general, doing some kind of resistance training, yes. And then from YouTube, um, why do some people lose weight faster? Um, there's a number of different reasons. Maybe they're eating less food. Maybe they're in a greater calorie deficit, which is ultimately what it is. Some people just have an easier time doing that. Um, from Instagram, what is your best diet? My best diet. Um, the one that I can stick to, and that's what I recommend for clients as well. The best diet is the one that's sustainable for you. Okay, guys, here we go. Back to the kettlebell row, right arm. So we're putting our right leg back, lunge stance, 15. switch sides now left leg goes back as we row with the left arm squeeze that shoulder blade as you come back take a half second just to pause and squeeze stuff there we go 15 on each side done take a little time sip on some aminos got a new shaker bottle too it's a flash shake shaker bottle you guys like this i thought it was pretty cool i have like every superheroes shaker bottle you can get because why not right all right guys get some more questions before we do our final set i'm starting to sweat a little bit here you crack a crack a window in this home office all right, how often should I change my fitness program? I like every four to six weeks. You should do some kind of overhaul here. From Instagram, sets and reps. Um, we're doing three sets of 15 reps on each side here. Also from Instagram, post-workout snacks. Well, something to go with your whey protein shake, right? So 20 to 40 grams of whey protein immediately following your workout. I like rice cakes as a good snack after a workout as well. Um, also from Instagram, how do you minimize crazy cravings in between meals? I like doing aminos as a good way to hit that sweet tooth in between meals. And um, also try veggies, okay? Veggies are very satiating, they're very filling, and it can help satisfy that as well. Um, is it true 
that it's good to have a cheat day where people can eat whatever they want once a week. Why is this a good or bad idea? A cheat day, you have to be very, very careful with. You know, one cheat meal a week can have a quite a bit of benefit to it, um, depending on what your goal is, but a whole entire day, very few people can get away with that. Um, you can do a lot of damage in one day. You can easily reverse six days of hard work in one day. But on that note, speaking of cheat days, you guys know I like cheat days if you've been following for a while. Sushi or burgers, let's throw it up there. Sushi or burgers. If you guys were gonna go to a cheat meal tonight, maybe you are, is it sushi or is it burgers? Hit it up, I wanna hear your comments. While you guys are talking about sushi and burgers, I'm gonna get back to work here. All right, here we go. We're gonna pull it up though, sushi or burgers. We wanna know which one's better. Right arm, let's go. Okay, 15 with the right arm. You guys will start feeling maybe your lower back tighten up a little bit here. Totally normal. Take just a second. Make sure that you loosen that up a little bit in between your sets here. And 15 on the left arm. Three sets of 15 on each side there for the kettlebell row. I'm starting to sweat pretty good here. You know, if you guys don't have a lot of weight and you're still training at home, increase your reps and slow your reps down. Two of the ways that you can get a great workout in without having a lot of resistance at home. All right, we got, I see a lot of burgers out there, a couple sushis and even a pizza. Pizza wasn't even an option, but what if we had like a, like a burger pizza, that would be pretty good right there. All right, what's the weight of kettlebell? Oh, what was it, 12, 12, 12 kilograms? Not a lot here. Um, for the rows, we had um, a little heavier kettlebell for the goblet squats. And um, best type of exercises for getting the fastest results in the shortest period of time. Um, the type of exercises that are gonna get you the best results are the ones that are the most efficient, work a lot of muscle groups, burn a lot of calories in a single exercise. A lot of these exercises here, compound movements where we're using legs and arms at the same time is, is definitely good. From Instagram, how much protein should I take? Your overall protein intake, my recommendation is one gram per pound of lean body mass or 2.2 grams per kilogram of lean body mass. So that would be, you know, take your body fat percentage at a minimum, find out what your lean body mass is and get a gram in for that. So, all right guys, moving on to our next exercise here. And this is a close grip push up. Careful not to trip over your kettlebell. Close grip push up here. So we're going three sets of 20 seconds. So we'll set a timer here for 20 seconds. We're gonna do three sets of those 20 seconds for the workout on the close grip push up here. So let me get this set up here, 20 seconds. Let's get it going here. 20 seconds, three sets is what we've got for this exercise. Close grip push up, we're gonna work chest here, but we're also gonna work some triceps. Let's go guys, close grip push up. in want to move a little faster on this in that 20 seconds so now what we'll do is um take a little bit of rest again three sets of 20 seconds on the close grip push-up um definitely good stuff so you know 
We're not looking to do these to failure here. We wanna follow that 20 second guideline pretty close on this guy for this exercise. So again, this workout guys, all it takes kettlebell and body weight for the most part. Um, definitely an easy workout for a lot of people to accomplish at home. Best supplement while in a workout or during a workout from Instagram, good question. I like doing essential amino acids during my workout um, as a good exercise to perform while training, okay? Let's go ahead and hit this again, close grip push-ups. Now for close grip push-ups, you never need to go any closer than shoulder width. So don't try and put your hands right together, okay? Your hands never need to be any closer than shoulder width. Let your elbows trace inside your body. And let's go here. 20 seconds, let's go. All right, we've got 11 that time. 11 out in the 20 seconds before our timer went off. A couple more questions here. What exercises do you think more people should be doing? Legs, okay? Not People don't train legs enough. So any kind of squat, okay, variation of squat. We a goblet squat, hack squat, back squat, front squat. People should definitely do more squats, okay? Um, from Instagram, how to gain weight and size. Um, eat a lot of food, primarily focus on getting that gram per pound of protein in or 2.2 grams kilogram and um, train heavy and hard often. Um, better supplement for fat burning from Instagram. Um, there's a lot that you can use, okay? A lot of them are gonna come high in caffeine. Caffeine can be very beneficial for losing body fat. I really like carnitine um, and CLA has good supplements to use that are non-stimulant as well. Um, from Instagram, EAAs or BCAs, they both have benefits. Um, I personally, while I'm doing my workouts, prefer essential amino acids. How many reps should I be doing? Here is for time, okay? 20 seconds, and uh, just get as many reps in properly as you can. Um, biggest gym pet peeve. My biggest gym pet peeve is the people that do a dumbbell exercise directly in front of the dumbbell rack. You guys know what I'm talking about? So let's say I'm somebody's you know, doing bicep curls and instead of stepping back five, six feet so somebody else can sneak in front of them, they stand right in front of there and do like dumbbell curls or shrugs. Drives me crazy, you know? Maybe you gotta put some dumbbells away or you're trying to grab some. Definitely a pet peeve of mine. Um, should I train to muscle failure every set? No, I don't think you should. Um, I think you should train close to failure, but not every set should be done to muscle failure. Um, how long should my workout last? As long as it needs to, but in general, probably a minimum of 30 minutes up to about 90 minutes. Uh, wouldn't go much longer than that. Best exercise for core, there's a lot. That goblet squat's actually really, really good for core. Um, I really like as far as direct ab exercises like hanging leg raise and ab wheel rollouts. Okay guys, 20 more seconds of push-ups here. This is our final exercise that we have for today's workout, and let's roll. Twelve reps. 10, 11, 12. I'm not trying to go super fast here, but we are trying to see how many we can get in 20 seconds done properly. So we'll get a couple more questions, guys, here before we tune out um, and let you guys go for today to go bash out your own Flex Friday workout. I am thin. I want to build muscle at home. What workout should I do from Instagram? You know, focus on single arm, single leg things at home and focus on really controlling your tempo as a great way to get good exercise in at home. Um, how to get definition while gaining weight. Um, you know, really, it's, it's hard to do for a lot of people. You're not really gonna lose a lot of body fat while you're gaining weight, but focus on your protein. I know I've said that before, prioritize your protein, lift heavy and hard, and uh, try and keep your, your food, you know, generally less process, processed, more clean can definitely help. Um, definitely a good way to help make sure that you're you're staying fairly lean while you're gaining 
that weight. Um, is it better to do aerobic exercise before a workout or after a workout from Instagram? You know, I personally like to do it afterwards because it increases the likelihood of injury if you do, if you like wear yourself out doing cardio before a workout. So I like to save my energy for that, the weight training, and then do uh, aerobic exercise or your cardio afterwards, okay? Um, how many calories should I be consuming? Totally depends on your goals. I absolutely can't give you just like a, a standard number there because it really depends on what your goals are. And um, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, body weight times 11 to 13 in pounds, you know, could be a good place to start. Um, a lot of a lot of different ways to do that there. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for checking out the Flex Friday stream. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you guys are awesome. Go try this workout. This is from the Body Fit program. Go download the Body Fit program. Become a member of Body Fit Elite there on bodybuilding.com. And you guys can check out a lot of these different workouts, whether you're training at home or training at the gym. This one was kettlebell only workout today. So guys, tag me in your Flex Friday posts as well. You can find me on Instagram at trainermike1. That's trainermike, the number one. You guys can tag me in your Flex Friday posts as well. DM me if you have some questions that maybe we didn't get to today. I really appreciate you guys checking it out. But for now, I'm Trainer Mike. Boom! Tuning out with a flex. Thank you guys for checking it out. I will see you guys very soon. Appreciate it.